Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be cleaning the EGI valve and the EGI valve cooler on this BMW 2009. Uh, this one is 320 diesel and 47 engine. Okay, so just going to crack on with it. Right, so to start off with we're going to remove the engine cover. Uh, and uh, we'll uh, remove the air inlet uh, uh, box here. This one here. Okay. So once we'll remove this... Uh, uh, inlet uh, box here the engine cover and uh, uh, then we'll have a uh, better access to the EGI valve and I'll be able to point out where the location is for the EGI valve so just gonna take the cover off there we go the cover up other day and then we'll have to undo these uh, uh, screws one here one there and one there three screws to undo to remove this uh, uh, box here Right, we are using T20 to remove these uh, screws. That's going to give us better access to the EGI valve. Uh, uh, inlet box removed okay so this is the EGI valve located here so before I remove this pipe here I'm gonna remove the uh, crank breather pipe okay like that there you go now we'll have to remove uh, this uh, clamp here Okay, just gonna pull it out like this. Okay, friends, so what we'll do is we'll use a small flathead screwdriver to undo the clip. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna undo this uh, mass airflow harness away from the pipe and this breather pipe. Right, friends, uh, uh, I've just noticed there's a, there is a bolt uh, on this side of this pipe which we need to gain access to. So, for that, we'll have to remove the air filter box. Two 10 mm bolts, one here, one here, and one there. Okay, so that they need to come off. we pull it out we're gonna disconnect the mass flow connector okay. and there is a breather pipe which is just under here so you just give it a press like this and then you can pull it out like this okay right so this is the uh, this is to trap the moisture, okay? Right, there you go. That's the air filter box out of the way. Well, we're gonna use a six mil uh, socket to undo this uh, bolt here.
that removed and now I will unclip uh, these two the the breather pipe and uh, the mass airflow harness okay there we go friends that's uh, the airbox uh, pipe out of the way now we have better clear access to the EGR valve which is situated here and the cooler is here okay so just gonna start stripping it okay so to start off with we'll, what we'll do is we'll remove this harness here okay so this is the EGR valve connector harness so the next bit we're gonna be doing is uh, we're using a T30 bit to undo these uh, two bolts there we go nice and easy and then we're gonna do this side there we go there we go nice and easy Just gonna tap it a bit. There you go, friend. Right, so we'll also have to remove this uh, part here, the clamp here. Here now. My friends, uh, also I'll uh, have to undo these uh, clips here. There we go. So we'll uh, replace these with the new Jubilee clips. That's the clip from here. Perfect. Well, we will also remove these uh, pipes. I'm just uh, pushing it out like this. There we go. 
and then this one here. There we go. Okay friends, so what we're going to do is we're going to twist uh, this EGI valve this way and just like that and then we're going to pull it out. It's in a really bad condition. So we're just going to give it a good clean. Right friends, so the next way is to remove the EGI valve cooler. So it's uh, secured by two bolts here, okay, two on this side and uh, one clamp here, okay. So just going to do that now friends so we're gonna be using the t45 bit to undo the bolts here okay there we go so for the bottom bolt we're gonna be using a long t45 extended one That's the bottom bolt, the top one. To remove this bolt here, we're going to be using a 6mm Allen. Two bolts on this side. There we go. One at the bottom, just here. There we go. Right. There you go friends, so that's the EGI valve cooler out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to put something here to stop the coolant from uh, coming out. Friends, this is the EGI valve uh, cooler out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this uh, pipe here, okay? So now it's uh, fully, uh, fully out. You can see the amount of uh, soot is uh, here. Look at this. It's completely blocked. So that's what we're going to clean. We're just going to give it a good clean with the EGI valve cleaner. So we're using the bolt, that's the make of the EGI valve cleaner. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this, rest it on the side.
just gonna lift it up like this and when I release it 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 goes back nicely there we go just gonna lift it up there we go that's good enough so what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna leave it to dry and then we're gonna fit it in there it is. it's got a gasket here but we're gonna leave it as it is because uh, it looks fine to us okay there we go I'm just gonna leave that to dry right friends so the next bit is to clean the cooler itself it's got too much sat in it there you go as you can see so I'm just gonna give it a good I'm gonna spray plenty of EDR cleaner from both sides Shake it. Right. Also, we're gonna clean this uh, vacuum pump on this side. Fine. Right friends, uh, now that I've cleaned the cooler okay, and the EGR valve, so we're just going to fit it back to the uh, to the car. Okay, so before I fit it, I'm going to put this vacuum vacuum pipe in. Just going to push it all the way in. There we go. So, before, before I fit it in, I'm just going to remove this... Uh, this uh, bolt, I put it in to stop the coolant from leaking. So, so the EDR valve comes in like this. I mean the EDR valve cooler comes in like this. There we go, just like that. I'm just going to make sure that uh, the coolant pipes are connected nicely. Yeah, they are fine. So the next bit is to secure it with the uh, four bolts, five bolts basically, as one of them. Goes in here. Okay, so one on this side. So we're gonna use 45 uh, P45 to tighten these bolts. I'm just doing the top one on both sides. Okay, I've got two top ones done. I'm just going to scale the one at the bottom.
There you go. Now we're going to scale the one on this side at the bottom. I'm going to hand tighten these uh, bolts to start off with. Okay, so just going to torque it up. Okay, that's good enough. The bottom one there. There we go, that's good enough. Okay, so on this side we are using T40. There we go, that's good enough. So the next bit is to fit the EGR valve. You can see I've cleaned it nicely and then it opens and shut freely again. Open, shut, okay. it's moving freely. So the EGR valve goes in. So you're gonna insert it in like this and then we're gonna Twist it. There we go. Now we're gonna scale the EGI valve with the two screws, I mean bolts. Okay, and uh, as I mentioned before, it's a TX30 we are using. So just gonna scale the bolts on the EGI valve. There we go, that's nice and tight. Just gonna do the top one now. There we go. It's nicely done as well. Right friends, uh, so the EDR valve is nicely scored. So the next bit is uh, we're gonna uh, uh, put these uh, jubilee clamps in the new ones because the old ones uh, will have to we had to break them open there we go just like that right so just gonna insert another jubilee clamp on the bottom pipe here like this there we go so you're gonna scale these two jubilee clamps with the flathead screwdriver. There we go. Just gonna scale it nicely. That's good enough. Mm. Not too tight. And then this one here. There we go friends, that's that. Nicely skewed. Right friends, so just gonna skew this clamp here. There we go, that's one side, that's the other side here, on this side so the next bit is to connect the the harness cable connector so there we go that goes there 
right so we've done uh, the checks there isn't any leak on the uh, on the cooler so there isn't any coolant leaking from the EGI valve cooler which is just here okay so we're gonna uh, put the rest of the components back in right so this is the clip I mentioned earlier so what we're gonna do we're gonna insert the pipe in and uh, and uh, press this clip here to secure the pipe to the turbo okay friends so what we're going to do is we're going to insert the pipe in like this push it all the way in and then we're going to press the clip okay like that the other thing we're going to do here is uh, we're going to clip these breather pipes and the harness and can you pipe to it right friends so what we're gonna do this uh, side is uh, we're gonna scale the pipe air intake pipe with this uh, bolt here There we go, nice and easy. So we're gonna use a six mil socket to scare it. nice and tight just gonna clip in these uh, uh, this vacuum pipe here and uh, the mass airflow harness just here like this so this is nicely secured now from the bottom as well just gonna scale this uh, breather pipe so just gonna push it all the way in and then here like this Okay, so that's that then. So just gonna clip these uh, vacuum pipe here and there. Right, so the next bit is uh, for the air filter box to come in place. Like this. And that's nicely home. Just gonna secure it with two bolts. One goes here. The other one goes in here. Nice and easy. The pipe. There we go, that's nicely done. Okay, the mass airflow sensor connector. That's here. That's connected here. Just gonna secure this jubilee clamp here. There we go, that's that nicely scoop. Okay, and the final bit is to scale the inlet box which goes here. And that's how it gets fitted. Three bolts, I mean three screws, scaring it. One side then, one screw here, no friends, and one at the top. A 
and the final bit is the cover. So the back cover goes in is like this. 